Hello friends, welcome to CodeChef. This is Suraj and in this video, let's discuss this problem journey of nights from July long challenge 1 2022. Now let's understand the problem statement. So here in this problem will be given a chess uh, that is 8 by 8 chess and chef placed a knight on a square x1 comma y1 and here chef wants to determine rather the knight can end up at square x2 comma y2 in exactly 100 moves. Okay. So for a reference here, it, uh, it is given that how uh, knight moves. So you can read it. Uh, in short, it is saying that a uh, knife will always make L shape. Okay, so two blocks here, then one block here. Okay, so like this. So two step horizontal, then one step vertical or two step vertical, then one step horizontal like that, like this. Okay. So this way, knife, uh, knight will move, okay. And uh, then uh, we need to just determine that if uh, this knight can go from x1 comma y1 to x2 comma y2 in exactly hundred moves. Now let's see the input and output structure. So in the input, first of all, we'll get total number of test cases. So here, total number of test cases is three, and then for each and every test case, we'll get four integer. That is the value of x1, y1 comma x2 then y2 respectively so here x1 is 8 x2 uh, y, y1 is 8 x2 is 7 and y2 is 6 and in the output we need to print yes if uh, if this knight can move from x1 uh, from this point p1 to point p2 in exactly 100 move and we'll print no if uh, knight cannot move from point p1 to point p2 in exactly 100 move so here we need to make sure that knife should move exactly 100 moves to reach this position and not less than or more than that. Now let's discuss the approach. So let's say our knight is at this position here. Okay. And let's see what are the moves possible. So knight can travel along this path and can reach here. Okay. Or knight can travel along this path and can reach here. Okay. So indirectly uh, we'll uh, we need to see that what, what are the possibilities of reaching this next position if knight wants to travel to the immediately next step okay so knight can move up to this position here okay like this way and then from here knight can travel in this direction and can reach here so this is first move then this is second move and from here knight can travel in this direction to reach this position so this will be third move so in order to reach immediately next block knight will have to travel three moves okay so immediately next block so three moves now let's say if knight is here and knight wants to reach this position then what are the possibilities so first of all knight can travel along this path and can reach here so this is in first move and then knight can travel along this path and can reach here so this is in second move so yeah so here if you see uh, in order to take odd number of steps we need to make odd number of moves so this is observation that odd number of steps leads to odd number of moves and similarly or even number of steps means even number of moves Similarly, let me show you once more that if knight is here and if knight wants to travel to this position, let's say this position here. So how many steps will be needed? So let's say if knight travel along this path and reaches here, this is one move. And then from here, knight can travel along this path and can reach here. So this is second move. So in two move, knight reaches from here to here. So indirectly, we can say that this is the first step. This is the second step or this is the first step. This is the second step. So knight took even steps to reach this position. So even moves are required. Okay. So indirectly odd number of steps need odd moves and even number of steps. Even number of steps need even number of moves. So now let's say if this is point P1 and this is here point p2 so knife uh, so this knight will have to travel along 
uh, and light can travel along any path but knight will have to reach this point here so how many steps will need this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five and this is six and this is seven so indirectly we can say that a distance here is seven okay so here this distance is odd okay so this distance here this is odd so odd number of moves will be required to reach here so if odd number of moves is required to reach here then definitely uh, knight will end up at some other position on 100th move okay because 100 is even so it means that now if the move if the total number of moves is even then only uh, knight with knight will be able to reach point p2 in exactly 100 moves otherwise knight will end up at some other position so we'll see that uh, how we can get the solution is we'll simply do x2 minus x1 absolute of this plus absolute of y2 minus y1 and we'll check the parity of this if this is odd if this is odd it means answer is no and if this is even it means answer is yes i hope you understood logic to this problem but still if you have any doubt now you can use this uh, new feature in codechef that is codechef's doubt support so let me just show you how you can use this new feature so let's say you go to this practice section and uh, let's say i pick any problem so let's let me pick this uh, age limit problem then here in this problem let's say i'm stuck and i'm unable to understand this problem or you may uh, get any confusion so what you can do here is you can go to this ask a doubt section and here you can chat with our experts so let me start this new chat and here i'll ask a simple question so let me ask So here you can see that uh, my doubt is answered and similarly you can also ask your doubts in the doubt support and get the answers quickly. So this doubt support will be available 24 by 7. So you can ask any doubt re uh, regarding this problem and the experts will be there to answer your questions. Now let's see the implementation in C++. So here in C++, first of all, I'm accepting T, the total number of test cases. Then I'm calling solution function for each and every test case. And in the solution function here, I'm accepting the value of x1, y1, x2 and y2. And then here I'll check uh, what is the distance between two blocks. And I'll check if the distance is odd, then I'll output no. And if the distance is even, then I'll output yes. So how I'm checking if it is odd and even, first of all, I'm uh, calculating the distance here. Then here I'm uh, uh, taking an AND operation with one. So I'll get one if this number is odd and I'll get zero if this number is even. Here is the similar implementation in Python. So first of all, I'm accepting T, the total number of test cases. Then I'm calling solution function for each and every test case. And in the solution function, first of all, I'm accepting the value of x1, y1, x2 and y2. And here I'll check if uh, this distance is odd then I'll output no and if distance is even then I'll output yes. So uh, here I'm calculating the distance using uh, this formula here. Simply x2 minus x1 absolute plus y2 minus y1 absolute. And here I'm taking the and with one. So and with one means uh, if, uh, if number is odd then and with one will give one. And if the number is even then and with one will give zero. So if, the num if this distance is odd then the value of this step parity will be one. And if distance is even, then the value of this step's parity will be zero. So I hope you understood the logic and its implementation in both C++ and Python. In case you have any doubt, feel free to write in the comments. So let's meet in another video. Thank you so much.